Hi everybody. Today I want to show you the monitoring system that I have hooked up to my single panel installation that I showed in the other video. So again this is a panel, a 245 watt panel from Yingli and a 260, uh, 260 watt micro inverter back there in the corner from a company called Kdang in China and the, the setup is directly hooked up to an outdoor power outlet on my balcony and it came with this data collector modem which is collecting data through the through the power line and is connected to the computer in this case with a with a USB serial cable it came with uh, an RS232 with a serial cable but I don't have a laptop with a serial interface so I bought a cable that would convert um, to USB I had a lot of issues getting this software and the modem up and running. I spent several nights on Skype with engineers in China trying to figure out what the problem is and it turned out to be a very very simple one but they let me do a lot of <laughs> Um, let me do a lot of things before they actually figured out the simple solution. So we played around with uh, software versions, we played around with, uh, with the COM port settings uh, on my computer. I bought another, another of these cables just to make sure that, uh, that it's not the cable. I actually ended up buying a docking station for this. <laughs> For this laptop, which has a serial interface, so I could use the serial, serial cable that came with the modem, didn't work either. And again, after several weeks, emails and Skype chats back and forth, I finally got um, an engineer like working with uh, TeamViewer on my laptop remotely. Um, and testing what is actually happening on that on that connection here on and and on the modem so he figured out that it was the wrong sticker <laughs> the wrong sticker on the modem according to the encode uh, you cannot read it here but according to Kaidang the last two digits of this serial number which in this case is 17 is supposed to go into the system settings. Let me just disconnect it here. So this is how you start when you uh, start the software. So in the system settings you configure the COM port that the computer is connecting through uh, with, a, with a modem. In this case it's COM3. So that's all fine. There are no need, there's no need to change any of these settings here and there's also no need to change any COM port settings on the computer. Um, then you initialize the system and here's where it's it's interesting. So according to Kdang um, under here you're supposed to put in the two digits that are on your sticker on the modem. And um, I put in 17 of course and it didn't work so they found out that the actual number is 43 so they put the wrong sticker on the modem and it turned out to work so when I finish that initialization again and I click to connect I see that it's testing and here's a little messaging window that shows me that it was successful and now I see my little panel here so if you have a, a bigger installation with with more panels and you should see more but in my single panel installation I see 
one panel here. If I double click on it, I see um, several performance um, performance data, including the the actual power, the DC power, which in this case at the moment is 177 watt. And over here you see the AC output, which is supposed to be uh, 168. So yeah, roughly 10 watt loss between the DC and AC conversion, if you will. What is interesting though, that my watt meter here is only showing 133. So the orange cable is coming from the inverter plugs into that uh, kilowatt meter and it only shows 130, 35. So there's some deviation from what the software shows, 165, and what my kilowatt meter shows. So more time I have to spend with these engineers and see if that is something that can be resolved. What I thought initially when I when I measured it before I got the system and the modem to work and I saw the 135 here, I, I thought that this function here, there's a function, power adjustment function, and I thought it's probably set on the lower setting, but since I couldn't connect with my inverter before, I couldn't check the setting of the inverter. So now uh, when I started it up, the first time I saw that it was put on 1 and not on 30, which is uh, equal to 100% output power. So even with that setting, I'm not able to get at least here on my kilowatt meter above the 130, 35. Um, yeah. So one step further, at least I got the software to work, the modem to work. And the next step is now to find out if there is any way to uh, where that deviation comes from between what is shown here and on my kilowatt meter. That's one thing. And the next step is also to see the actual impact on my utility bill. So um, that, that will be interesting to see if this month's uh, utility bill is lower than before. Unfortunately, I do not have access to the meter, so I cannot really do tests in terms of seeing if the meter has been slower or not. Uh, so for now, I have to go by what my utility bill says, and then I can do further, further testing depending on that. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and let me know if you have questions or comments. Bye.